Welcome back. It's Monday, so you know what that means. Curtis is basically going to be making me lunch. That's right, with no meat in it, because <laughs> it's Meatless Monday. This one's an easy one. Look, it's, uh, it's a quest to save humanity and the planet. Continues every Monday with one delicious meatless meal at a time. And today we have a great summertime lunch or dinner option for you. It's called barbecue bean tacos with pineapple salsa. Oh. So you were, you were asking a very important question. What did you ask in the break there? Where's the barbecue sauce? Because it's barbecue tacos. That's right. See, this one's great, and you can use any type of bean if you're not into pinto beans that I'm using. Also, it's one that's going to teach you how barbecue sauce gets made. You didn't realize that, did you? I'm Texan. The barbecue sauce was just always on the table. Right, but you know what goes in barbecue sauce? Barbecue and sauce. All right, well, let's show the... <laughs> Let's show the first the first set of ingredients here is going to show you the barbecue bean fixins there. You got two 15 ounce cans of pinto beans. You got two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of maple syrup, three quarters cup organic ketchup, half teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of chili powder, and half teaspoon of salt. Okay. Hattie, if you notice everything besides the beans there, that is what goes in barbecue sauce. Well, look at that. And it's just a matter of what other spices you put in there. Some people put like chipotle or whatever else, but basically yeah, like ketchup. My, my go-to is honey barbecue, so. Oh yeah? yeah, okay. So you put, yeah, honey and stuff in there. But yeah, ketchup, mustard, maple syrup, that's what goes into barbecue sauce. Well, look at there. And it's that easy for that part. You put that in with the pinto beans. All you do with the beans, though, is just, just drain them. You don't have to rinse them off. Yeah, you can use some of the, the juice in there. And then you basically just put this on low and you let this sit until it kind of warms up. Because again, one of the other things I talked about with meatless dishes, the advantage to meatless dishes is you don't have to worry about, am I cooking the bean to the right uh, finish? I don't want to get sick, raw food. You don't have to worry about that with this. You know, like meat, the chicken. Yeah, there you go. Okay, pork. so it's just a matter of, it's almost essentially just heating it up. It's almost, yeah, it's basically just heating it up. I mean, obviously putting in, uh, this is all the spices that I, I mix in there. The spices you want to like give some time to, to set in. Yeah. And so if you want, you can have it simmer for, you know, 15 minutes, whatever. But basically, if you wanted to do it cold, you can kind of just mix this around and then let it sit for a couple minutes. Meanwhile, over here, here's your job. I was going to say, you got can me you over the, here. I got gloves on. What am I doing? Lime first. You I got to cut, cut the lime. The lime. All right. So that is, that, so you do that, you let that simmer for, you know, however long you want to warm up the beans and stuff, and then you get to make in the rest of it, which is, I gave you a very important job, cut that into wedges, which you can still do, even though you didn't have, you can still do, you can still do wedges. All right. <laughs> you make the pineapple salsa, which is like this. Here's the ingredients for the I pineapple salsa. I can't win salsa. in this kitchen, by the way. 20 ounce can of pineapple chunks, a quarter cup of minced red onion, a quarter, uh, quarter cup of finely chopped cilantro, and a little quarter teaspoon of salt. And then that's sitting right here. Mix that all around. You got a little, little pineapple salsa right there. Yeah. Uh, that's going to go on top. And as far as the fixins, you got cabbage. Slice that up. And radishes. Slice those up. You pick whatever kind of tortilla that you want. Okay. What's your favorite? What's your favorite? Corn, uh, flour. I actually like, uh, I think, more corn. Corn? Yeah. Corn's your thing? Yeah. I don't know. Some people are corn. Some people are flour. But this is a, uh, what is this? Tomato? Yeah. Sun-dried tomato. Sun -dried yeah, so you go like this, put some of that on there. There you go. Throw some of the toppings on there, Hattie. All right. Right just there, a, just put the a cabbage. Little bit so we can actually wrap it. Put the cabbage, put a little topping here, and bam. bam. There you go. I'm squeeze a little lemon juice on that. It's lime. Lime juice. <laughs> to our, the limes are green, the, yellow, the lemons are yellow. <laughs> Head to our website to play this segment back while you make dinner tonight or share it with your friends.